Hello, dear students. Welcome back to your physics class. I'm Mr. Idris, physics teacher at Barris Private School. Today's lesson, we will talk about the simple pendulum. So in the previous lesson, if you remember, we talked about the periodic motion in section one, chapter three, and also we talked about the simple harmonic motion. The simple harmonic motion is a vibrational motion of an object about an equilibrium position on a straight path, which is the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement. So for the simple harmonic motion, we have some conditions. The first condition, the, the simple harmonic motion is a vibrational motion moving back and forth about an equilibrium position. So the second condition is on a straight path. So the third condition is the restoring force in a simple harmonic motion, such as a mass spring or simple pendulum. The restoring force, it should be directly proportional to the displacement, but in opposite direction. Okay, and also in the previous lesson, we talked about the mass spring system. Uh, so when this, the mass has a maximum elastic potential energy, when does it has more velocity and when does the restoring force increase or decrease? Okay, we talked about all of them. And today's lesson, uh, we will continue explaining the simple harmonic motion, but in this case, for the simple pendulum. Okay, the simple pendulum uh, sometimes can be a simple harmonic motion, sometimes does not. Okay, so when does the movement or the motion of a simple pendulum becomes simple harmonic motion? If the angle from the equilibrium position to the maximum displacement is less than 15. Only in this case, the simple pendulum considered to be a simple harmonic motion. But for the high, for, the, for example, for the more angles, more than 15 or 15 degree also, the motion or the movement of the simple pendulum cannot be a simple harmonic motion, okay? What is simple pendulum? Simple pendulum consists of a mass, call it a bob, which is attached to a fixed string that rotates about a fixed axis, okay? What is this? This is simple pendulum. What is simple pendulum? It consists of a mass, call it a bob, which is attached at the end of the string. Okay, in the case when we pull the mass, what happened to the mass? The mass is moving back and forth. This motion is vibrational motion, moving back and forth. And this point, these lines, these dots is equilibrium position. What is this? This is equilibrium position. Okay, this is equilibrium position and this is maximum displacement. This point is called maximum displacement. When we say maximum displacement of a pendulum, it means that maximum displacement from equilibrium position in this side, and also you can say maximum displacement from the other side, okay? Uh, from equilibrium position, maximum displacement, which is the angular displacement, okay? And this point is equilibrium position, okay? Where is the equilibrium position? This point, the minimum point or the lowest point of the mass is called the equilibrium position. Okay? So, and also, this is maximum displacement from the other side. Okay? These two maximum displacement is the same. They have the same property. Okay? So, we have some notes about the simple pendulum. The simple pendulum consists of a mass, as I mentioned or ball which is attached to a fixed string, and the pendulum's motion becomes a simple harmonic motion. This is very important, pay attention please. When does simple pendulum become a simple harmonic motion? If the angle is less than 15 degree. If the angle is less than what? 15 degree. Such as, look, so this is, at equilibrium position, there is a zero angle. At equilibrium position, the object has zero degree. So if you pull the mass until the angular displacement reaches 14. So in this case, is the simple pendulum when the angular displacement is 14 degree, is the simple harmonic motion? Yes. Now this motion is a simple harmonic motion. Okay. Why this is simple harmonic motion? Be because it is angled from equilibrium position to the maximum displacement from equilibrium position to the maximum displacement is less than 14 degree, okay? But in the case, for example, if the angle is more than 15 or 15 degree, okay? 
15 degree also cannot be a simple harmonic motion. Now, this movement is not a simple harmonic motion because it is path cannot be considered as a straight path. Okay, so for example, this angle also 30 degree, 38 degree. This motion is not a simple harmonic motion. This is vibrational motion of a simple pendulum. Okay, the simple pendulum considered to be a simple harmonic motion if angular displacement is less than 15. So when working with a simple pendulum, we assume that the mass of the string, friction, air resistance are neglectful or neglected. Okay, in the in the working with a simple pendulum, the mass of the string, friction, air resistance are neglectful, and the mass of the bulb is concentrated at the point. Okay, so for the physical pendulum, but for physical pendulum, the distribution of the mass, the string is mass, friction and air resistance are must be considered. Okay, and when we when we are working with a simple pendulum, the mass of the string and the, uh, the air resistance, the friction, the internal friction, all of them were neglected. But for the physical pendulum, the distribution of the mass, the string is mass, the friction and the air resistance must be considered. So the Travis acrobat like the vibrating mass separating system and the Travis acrobat motion is an example of simple harmonic motion if it is angled as less than 50. Okay, the restoring force of a pendulum is a component of the bulbous weight. So, this is very important. Uh, what provides the restoring force in a, a simple pendulum? Sorry. In a simple pendulum, the force that provided by uh, the, provided the restoring force is the tangent component or the bulbous weight with the X component, okay? Such as this figure. Sorry. Let's open a new page. Okay. There's an open, I don't know why. Sorry. And now I'm going to open a new slide. And now I'm going to tell you uh, the force that provided the restoring force of a simple pendulum. Assume that this is a pendulum. Okay. If you pull the mass in this point, this is equilibrium position. Okay, assume that this is ground, there is no height here. So in the case when we're pulling the mass at this uh, point, to this point, okay, at this, the, what is this? This is the tension force of the string. The tension force is acting upward always. What is this? This is the tension force uh, of the string, okay? So the gravitational force, as you know, gravitational force is always downward toward the center of Earth. Gravitational force acting everything, every object, so it is direction is always downward toward the center. The direction of the gravitational force at each point, at every point, is always directed toward the center, downward. Okay, so in that case, such as the incline when you studied in grade 11, so assume that this is x axis and this is y axis. Okay, what is this? This is x axis and this is y axis okay now because the gravitational force does not look located on the y axis and x axis so it makes an angle okay so this angle is equivalent with this angle they are the same okay and the angle is made with the y axis okay so that is why this gravitational force because it is not on the y axis and x axis between x and y so for any vector you said it in grade 11 for any vector when it makes an angle this vector can be resolved into two components when does the vector resolve it into two components when the vector when a vector makes an angle with x axis or with y axis 
In this case, the gravitational force makes an angle with y-axis. So that is why this gravitational force can be resolved into two components. Fgy and Fgx. Okay? Why? Because Fg makes an angle with y-axis, so that is why it is resolved into two components. Fgy is equal to Fg cosine theta, because the angle with y-axis, according to Pythagorean theorem, Fgy is equal to what? Fgy is equal to Fg cosine theta. But Fgx is equal to what? Fg sine theta. Fgx is equal to Fg sine theta. So, when we release the bob at this point, the bob returns to equilibrium position. Because of what? Because of the Fgx. So, what is providing, what is the, pro, what, what is providing restoring force in a simple pendulum? Fgx. Which component? X component of gravitational force or Y component of gravitational force? X component of the gravitational force, which is tangent to the movement. Okay, with, which is tangent to the movement of the bob and is called the tangent component. Which component? Perpendicular component or tangent component? The tangent component is providing the restoring force. Okay, so FGX has many names. Okay, uh, you can say tangent component, tangent component, or you can say FGX. Or you can say Fg sine theta or Mg sine theta or X component of gravitational force. Which of the following providing the restoring force in a simple pendulum? The tangent component? Yes. Fg X? Yes. They, they, they are the same. Fg sine theta? Yes. Mg sine theta is X component of gravitational force? Yes. Okay, so it has the restoring force in a simple pendulum has several names. Okay, and all of them correct. So, in this case, if you look, what is the angle between Ft and Fgx? Ft and Fgx is perpendicular to each other. Ft is perpendicular to what? To the Fgx. But Ft is parallel to Fgy, and the angle between them is 180. The angle between what? The angle between Ft and Fgy is 180 degrees, so it is very important. So in that case, Ft is equal to Fg cosine theta, okay? So the tension force is always directed upward uh, because of the string provided this tension force, okay? Uh, as you know, except at the equilibrium position, in the another point, this bob has two force, tension force and gravitational force. But the gravitational force, tension force and gravitational force. But gravitational force, except at equilibrium position, Resolve it or divide it into two components tangent component and perpendicular component. Okay, so FGX with FGY is also perpendicular, FGX is perpendicular to the FGY. So, this is very important. Uh, I hope you understood well and you have to pay attention because. Uh, it has been brought in Wizari exam many times, okay? So that is why the student must be keep in your mind that the restoring force in a simple pendulum provided by the tangent component or the X component of the gravitational force. As I mentioned, two forces acting on the bob at any point except at the equilibrium, even in the equilibrium position, okay? Even in the equilibrium position, this, for example, in the object at equilibrium position, the two forces that acting on the bob is gravitational force and tension force. At equilibrium position, Ft is equal to Fg, but in opposite direction. 
So when this tension force is equal to gravitational force at equilibrium position, okay? So the angle between FT and FG is 100 degree. Tension force and gravitational force. The Bob's gravitational force can be resolved into two components along X and Y away from the equilibrium position. When does this gravitational force can be resolved into two components? Away from the equilibrium position. Except it at the equilibrium position. The X component of the gravitational force, which is equal to FG sine theta, that perpendicular to the string, is the net force acting on the bob in the direction of its motion. So the X component of the gravitational force, FG sine theta, always pulls the bob toward the equilibrium position, so that is why it's called the restoring force. What is the function of FGX? FGX, which is equal to FG sine theta tangent component, is always pulls the object toward the equilibrium position. So that is why it's called the restoring force. So the restoring force in a simple pendulum is FGX, which is equal to mg sine theta. Restoring force in a, in a simple pendulum depends on the mass, gravity, and the angular displacement. Okay? Uh, and with angular displacement, gravity and mass is directly proportional. More mass provides more restoring force. But the y component of the gravitational force, which is FGY, is equal to FG cosine theta, is perpendicular to the bob's motion FGX, and the angle between FGY and FT is 180. Angle between FGY and FT is 180 degrees. So the tension force of the string constantly pulls the bob in the direction of Y axis because it is acting downward. This is FT. Okay? Which force could be the restoring force? In what? In spring mass spring system or restore in, in a simple pendulum? In a simple pendulum. In a simple pendulum, the force is FGX, the X component of the bob's weight. Which force, which component is the restoring force in a simple pendulum? X component of the bob's weight which is equal to Fg sine theta, tangent to the motion of the ball. Okay? It depends on what? Bob's weight, Fg, and the pendulum's displacement, which is directly proportional. Okay, the restoring force is zero at equilibrium. Why? Why restoring force is zero at equilibrium position? At equilibrium position, theta is zero. Okay, at equilibrium position, at equilibrium position in a simple pendulum on in a mass spring system at equilibrium position. In both cases, simple pendulum. or mass spring system. In both cases, restoring force is zero. Restoring force in a simple pendulum is equal to mg sine theta, but the restoring force in a mass spring system is equal to negative kx. At equilibrium position, at equilibrium position, x is zero and theta is zero. When theta is zero, Sine zero is zero, so that is why restoring force becomes zero. For the mass spring system, also restoring force becomes zero because x is zero, and that is why the restoring force becomes zero. The direction of the restoring force is always towards the equilibrium. The direction of the restoring force in both mass spring system and the pendulum, simple pendulum, the direction of the restoring force is always toward the equilibrium. Which force could be the restoring force in a spring, mass spring system? In a mass spring system, the force that uh, becomes restoring force is elastic force of the spring. The restoring force is the elastic force of spring. The elasticity of the spring provides this restoring force. If the spring has no elasticity, uh, and also it means that the spring has no restoring force, okay? Uh, depend on what? It depends on the spring constant and the displacement. 
and with both of them is directly proportional. In a simple pendulum, In a simple pendulum, the weight, this is question five in chapter review. Very good question, be careful. So the question says, in a simple pendulum, the weight of the bulb can be divided into two components. When does the weight of a bulb can be divided into two components? When the object moves away from the equilibrium position. But at equilibrium position, Fg cannot resolve into the components because the gravitational force at equilibrium position is already on the y-axis okay so but when the object moves away from equilibrium the bulb can be divided into two components one component is tangent to the bulb's direction okay on motion and the other perpendicular to the bulb's weight the, the tangent component which is fgx but the perpendicular component is fgy Okay, which of this is the restoring force in a simple pendulum? In a simple pendulum, as I mentioned, in a simple pendulum, only FGX provides the restoring force. The tangent component, the tangent component, which is equal to mg sine theta, because it always pulls the bulb toward the equilibrium position. Okay, uh, simple harmonic motion is a special case of oscillation motion by or vibrational motion. Uh, because not every oscillation motion or vibrational motion is a simple harmonic motion, but uh, every simple harmonic motion is a vibrational motion. So that is why simple harmonic motion is a special case of vibrational motion. So when does the vibrational motion such as pendulum become as a simple harmonic motion? If it is angular displacement is less than 15. If a head angle or total angle, total angle, if the total angle is given in the question, you have to divide by 2, okay? For example, if the total angle was given, if the total angle was given 28, 28 degree, this is the total angle, okay? To find the simple harmonic motion or to find uh, when does the simple pendulum become a simple harmonic motion, if the angle is less than 15. What do you mean by this angle? From maximum to maximum or from maximum to equilibrium? This angle is from maximum to equilibrium, be careful. When we say angle is less than 15, what do you mean by this angle? This angle is the angle from equilibrium position to the maximum displacement in this side or in this side. Okay, so in that case, you have to divide it by two becomes 14 degree and 40 degree. So if the total angle is 20 degree, is this motion simple harmonic motion? Yes. Yes. Why? Because we have to divide this total angle by two and the result is 14 degree less than 15. So that is why it is a simple harmonic motion. For small angle, it means that less than 15, The pendulum's motion is a simple harmonic motion. As with a mass separating system, the restoring force of a simple pendulum is not constant. Restoring force changes or varies. Okay? Restoring force in a mass separating in a simple pendulum, mg sine theta. Restoring force changes by changing mass. Restoring force changes by changing gravity and also changes by the angular displacement. Look at this animation, okay? Uh, in this case, uh, like two mass, now we have two mass with the same length, okay? They have the same length and uh, different mass, okay? Different mass. Uh, which one has more restoring force? The restoring force of the heavier mass is more than the restoring force of the lighter mass, okay? So in that case, for example, let's decrease the length, okay? Now, because restoring force in a simple pendulum is equal to mg sine theta, okay? Now, do we have mass? Yes. Do we have angular displacement? Yes. 
So the the restoring force can be calculated by using mass, gravity, and the angular displacement. Okay. So uh, by decreasing the angle when the angle decreases. Okay. For the small angle, for the small angle, the restoring force decreases. Why? Because angular displacement decreases. Okay. But uh, when we decrease mass, less mass has less restoring force. Less mass, less restoring force. Why? Because the restoring force is also changes by changing mass. Okay? With the gravity also, for example, on a Jupiter, it has more, more weight, more gravity, more restoring force. Okay? But on moon, it has less restoring force. Why? Because moon has less gravity than earth. So that is why the restoring force on a moon is less than the restoring force on the earth in a given uh, pendulum. Okay? The magnitude of the restoring force varies with the bubble's distance from the equilibrium position, which is theta, okay? Because angular displacement changes. The magnitude of the restoring force decreases as the bulb becomes closer to the equilibrium position until it becomes zero at this position. As with the mass suffering system, mechanical energy of a simple pendulum in ideal system, frictionless, is conserved, okay? Restoring force, in a simple pendulum is equal to mg sine theta. Okay, so the restoring force can be changes by changing mass, gravity, and angular displacement. When mass increase, restoring force decrease. When gravity increase, restoring force increase. When angular displacement increase, restoring force also increase. Okay, as with the mass suffering system, the mechanical energy in a simple pendulum is conserved it means that at at maximum displacement at maximum displacement from this side or maximum displacement from this side uh, you know that this is height okay so that is why at maximum displacement maximum displacement such as figure A, this is B and C A and C maximum displacement from this side or maximum displacement from this side they have the same properties, okay at maximum displacement in a simple pendulum at maximum displacement um, restoring force has maximum value, why? because it has maximum angular displacement Angular displacement, maximum. Acceleration, maximum. Gravitational potential energy, maximum. In a simple pendulum, we don't have elastic potential energy, be careful. What is the type of the potential energy that's stored in the simple pendulum when the pendulum reaches, when the bob reaches maximum displacement? Gravitational potential energy. The, the potential energy that stored in this mass suffering system was elastic potential energy. But the potential energy that stored in the simple pendulum is gravitational potential energy. Okay, let me ask you a question. What is the type of potential energy that stored in the mass suffering system? What is the type of potential energy? Elastic potential energy. What is the type of potential energy that stored in the simple pendulum at maximum displacement? Gravitational potential energy. This is very important, please. Okay, keep in your mind. But uh, velocity at maximum displacement zero, kinetic energy zero, linear momentum zero. Okay, but at point B, at equilibrium position, at equilibrium position. such as point B at equilibrium position because theta is zero because theta is zero so that is why restoring force also zero when restoring force is zero acceleration is zero because at equilibrium position height there is no height height zero 
gravitational potential energy also zero. But velocity reaches maximum, kinetic energy maximum, and linear momentum is maximum. So the values of some physical quantity, uh, the, so, sorry, the values for some physical quantity varies according to its position, okay, as I mentioned here. The potential energy of a spring is what? Elastic potential energy. But the potential energy of a simple pendulum is gravitational potential energy. Okay? Uh, so the mechanical energy is still conserved. Now, let's go back to the Earth. And mass, I think that one kilogram. And the length is like that. So, uh, and now I would like to tell you the at zero at maximum displacement at maximum displacement the green arrow is represent for the velocity and the yellow arrow is represent for the uh, acceleration and the restoring force okay so at maximum displacement the arrow the green arrow of the velocity is disappeared okay is disappeared now at this point v is zero okay and kinetic energy also zero but the green arrow is represented for the acceleration acceleration is maximum restoring force also maximum angular displacement also maximum gravitational potential energy because it has height also maximum okay so it's very important be careful okay let's go back to the video but at equilibrium position now at equilibrium position the restoring force becomes zero at this point restoring force is zero but velocity reaches maximum value okay the gravitational potential energy also is uh, zero okay The magnitude of gravitational potential energy has maximum value at maximum displacement. The gravitational potential energy is zero when it, uh, when it is at the lowest point, which is the equilibrium position. At a point between maximum displacement and equilibrium position, the types of the energy is both kinetic energy and uh, uh, potential energy. Between the maximum displacement and the equilibrium position, Now, this is maximum displacement, and also this is maximum displacement in this side, but this is equilibrium position. But between maximum displacement and equilibrium position, what is the type of the energy stored in the object? It has both. Between maximum displacement, between maximum displacement, this is maximum displacement, okay? Between maximum displacement and equilibrium position, what is the types of the energy that's stored in the ball? Both. In that case, it has both potential gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. But at maximum displacement, kinetic energy is zero, but gravitational potential energy is maximum. But at equilibrium position, kinetic energy reaches maximum, gravitational potential energy becomes zero. But in all cases, Mechanical energy is constant. Mechanical energy doesn't change as in a mass supreme system. Okay? Look. Now, this is maximum displacement. Assume that. Okay? When we release, Okay, between maximum and equilibrium, we have both types, potential energy and kinetic energy. Okay, but at maximum displacement, only we have potential energy, as you can see here. Okay, and at equilibrium position, only we have kinetic energy. Only we have what? Kinetic energy. But in all cases, at any point, at any point, as you can see here, the total energy, which is mechanical energy, doesn't change. 
Mechanical energy stay and change it, remain constant. But potential energy and kinetic energy decrease and increase together. Okay? Sorry, not together. When potential energy increases, kinetic energy decrease. When kinetic energy increases, potential energy decrease. So it means that the potential energy and kinetic energy uh, changes inversely to each other. Okay? Does the pendulum's motion is a simple harmonic motion? No, we cannot say the pendulum's motion is a simple harmonic motion because uh, it has condition. In the case when less than 15, it becomes a simple harmonic motion, otherwise not. No, because this movement is not on a straight line. When does the pendulum's motion become a simple, ha simple harmonic motion if the magnitude of the angular displacement is less than 15? How the gravitational potential energy changes in the pendulum? At maximum displacement, according to the equilibrium position, it has only gravitational potential energy. But when it passes through the equilibrium position, the type of the energy changes to what? To kinetic energy. As the pendulum swings past its equilibrium position, the kinetic energy, sorry, decreases while gravitational potential energy increases. When does kinetic energy decrease and gravitational potential energy increase? When the pendulum swing is past it is equilibrium when the pendulum when the mass of the pendulum moves away from the equilibrium position okay but at maximum displacement at at maximum displacement from equilibrium the pendulum's energy once again entirely gravitational potential energy when the potential when the pendulum is at maximum displacement or passes through the equilibrium position such as in the figure below uh, as i told you at, my, at equilibrium position, angular displacement zero, restoring force zero, acceleration zero, gravitational potential zero, but velocity, kinetic energy, momentum becomes maximum volume. But at maximum displacement, angular displacement maximum, restoring force maximum, acceleration maximum, gravitational potential energy maximum, but velocity, kinetic energy, and linear momentum becomes zero. Okay? In which type of motion the acceleration decreases but velocity increases in the simple harmonic motion? Okay, when the object reaches at equilibrium position, there is no acceleration, but velocity reaches zero. Why? Because the object has inertia. The object has momentum. Momentum does not depending on the acceleration. Momentum depending on mass and velocity. Okay, in a simple harmonic motion for pendulum and mass spring system. Does acceleration of a simple harmonic oscillator remain constant during its motion? Simple harmonic oscillator, it is. Acceleration is constant? No. Acceleration changes at maximum displacement. At maximum displacement, acceleration reaches zero. A uh, sorry, at maximum acceleration is maximum. When the ball toward the equilibrium, what happened to the acceleration? Decrease until reaches what? Equilibrium. At equilibrium position, acceleration becomes what? Zero. So that is why the acceleration of a bulb in a simple harmonic motion in simple pendulum or mass separating system, acceleration does not remain constant the careful. Acceleration changes by changing the position of the bulb or mass in mass separating system. Okay? Sometimes acceleration has maximum value, sometimes acceleration has less value, and sometimes acceleration becomes zero. Okay? So the answer is no. Acceleration changes throughout the oscillator's motion. It is zero at equilibrium position and greatest at maximum displacement. How does the restoring force acting on the pendulum change as the bulb oscillators toward the equilibrium position? So this is very important. Very good question. Pay attention, please. How does the restoring force? Restoring force is equal to mg sine theta in pendulum. In what? In pendulum. How does the restoring force changes as the bulb toward, as the bulb oscillates toward the equilibrium position? Toward the equilibrium position, it means that the angular displacement decreases. The angular displacement decreases. When the angular displacement decreases, what happens to the restoring force? The restoring force also decreases. When the object moves or oscillates toward the equilibrium position, toward the equilibrium, it means that the object, the mass, approaches the equilibrium and angular displacement decreases. When the angular displacement decreases, restoring force also decreases. Why? Because they, have, because they are directly proportional to each other. Okay? 
question three in chapter review. What is the type? What is the type of energy of a pendulum? Of a pendulum bulb before it is released. Before it is released, it means that at this point. At this point, what is the type of energy? Gravitational potential energy before release. Okay? The answer is gravitational potential energy. Look, gravitational potential energy before releasing. How does the energy of the bulb change as it swings through one full cycle of motion? Through one full cycle of motion. Before releasing, we have gravitational potential energy. When we release, this gravitational potential energy decreases until all the gravitational potential energy converted to the kinetic energy. At equilibrium position, gravitational potential energy becomes zero, but kinetic energy becomes maximum. But when the bulb is moving away from the equilibrium, move away from the equilibrium until it reaches the maximum displacement in the other side, so again, the gravitational potential energy starts increasing until it reaches the uh, maximum displacement. The, at the maximum displacement, the entire kinetic energy is converted to the gravitational potential energy. This is for one complete cycle. In the case of back and uh, forward and backward, uh, they, have, they have the same quantity, okay? At maximum displacement, gravitational potential energy is maximum. And kinetic energy is zero. But the, at the bottom of the swing, which is equilibrium, what do you mean by bottom of the swing? Equilibrium. Okay? It is swing kinetic energy maximum, but potential energy is zero, okay? As I showed you, uh, the mechanical energy stay the same. Okay, this is the red curve is mechanical energy. Total mechanical energy is constant all the time, but kinetic energy, which is the green line, green curve, and the blue curve is potential energy. When potential energy is maximum here, gravitational potential potential energy maximum, kinetic energy is zero. Okay. So the figure at this point is like that, okay? But at this point, at this point, the figure of the simple pendulum, the figure of the simple pendulum, uh, because the kinetic energy is reaches maximum at equilibrium position, okay? So here between maximum and equilibrium position, okay? So if we take a pendulum, if we take the pendulum clock, the pendulum clock has a simple pendulum from earth to moon, from earth to moon, okay? From earth to moon, what happened to the gravity? Gravity decreases, okay? The free fall acceleration decreases. The restoring force, what happened to the restoring force? Also decreases, why? Because restoring force is equal to mg sine theta. Okay, when we decrease gravity, what happened to the restoring force? Restoring force also decreases at constant mass and angular displacement. But when we take the spring, so this is for the pendulum. For what? For pendulum. But when we take spring from Earth to Moon, restoring force in a spring, in spring. If we take the pendulum's clock from Earth to the Moon, what happened to the restoring force? Restoring force doesn't change. Be careful. The restoring force does not change, please. Restoring force stay unchanged by taking the mass suffering system from Earth to the Moon. Why? Because restoring force in a mass suffering system does not depend on the gravity. Restoring force in a mass spring system depends on the spring constant and the amount of the stretch or compressor of the spring. Does not depending on the gravity. So which of the following doesn't change? Uh, which of the following restoring force doesn't change if you take the simple pendulum or mass spring system? Mass spring system. The restoring force of the mass spring system does not change by changing location or if you take from Earth to the Moon or from Moon to the Earth. But the simple pendulum changes the restoring force in a simple pendulum changes by changing location. Why? Because it depends on the gravity. Okay? Uh, section review, section 
one in chapter three. Okay, so we finish this chapter, inshallah, in the next lesson, we will uh, start explaining section two in chapter three about the period and frequency of a simple harmonic motion. Question one, which of this periodic motion are simple harmonic motion? All of them is a periodic motion, but which of the following is a simple harmonic? A child swinging on a playground, theta 45? No, this is not simple harmonic motion. A CD rotating in player? No, rotating object is a periodic motion, but it is, but it is not a, a simple harmonic motion. An oscillating clock pendulum, 10 degree, yes, this is simple harmonic motion and so this question is very important and it is very easy. So it has been brought many times in the Wizari exam. Okay, I think more than five times this question has been brought. Uh, how does the restoring force acting on? How does the restoring force acting on a pendulum? Pendulum, because the question is asking about the pendulum. Restoring force in pendulum mg sine theta. How does the restoring force acting on a pendulum bomb changes as the bulb swings toward toward the equilibrium? Toward it means that the object approaches the equilibrium position. In the case of toward the equilibrium position, what happens to the restoring force decrease? Why? Because angular displacement decreases. The restoring force decreases. Okay? So the second part of the question: how do the bulb's acceleration changes? The acceleration also decreases when the bulb approaches the equilibrium position. Why? Because acceleration and force is directly proportional. So, and velocity. How velocity changes when the bulb approaches the equilibrium position? Velocity increases because velocity is inversely with the restoring force. When the restoring force decreases, velocity increases. But velocity increases when the bulb uh, uh, swing is toward the equilibrium position. Okay? So, when an acrobat reaches the equilibrium position, the net force acting along the direction of the motion is zero. At equilibrium position, re 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 restoring force is zero. Okay? But why does the acrobat swing past the equilibrium position doesn't stop at equilibrium position? For example, if you pull this object at maximum displacement, restoring force is maximum. But at equilibrium position, restoring force is zero. But why the object does not stop? Why the object doesn't stop at equilibrium position? And the net force is zero, but why the object does not stop? Because of the inertia and because of the momentum. At equilibrium position, you know that we have maximum speed and also we have mass. Momentum is equal to what mass times velocity. So the momentum does not depending on the restoring force and the acceleration. Okay, so that is why uh, the object passes through the equilibrium position without stopping. Okay, because the acrobat's momentum, because of what the momentum is equal to m b at equilibrium velocity maximum mass doesn't change. So that is why momentum is maximum and uh, the object passed through the equilibrium position. Okay, so why the restoring force is equal to zero at equilibrium because theta is zero. Why it is maximum at maximum displacement because this theta is maximum displacement. So we finish the section one. Inshallah, next lesson we will explain section two about the measuring the simple harmonic motion. Thank you for uh, listening and for watching. Keep up your best doing. Inshallah, I will see you soon. Okay.